It's, uh, it's based on uh, me sort of living for five years with a, a couple, and, uh, and so a lot of the, the actual first episode is a, an episode about the blackout that happened here in Toronto. I lived up in college in Ossington, and, and uh, we had a huge party at, during the blackout, and so that's sort of what the first episode's about, and that's all based on uh, real experience. And then there's a, there's a whole bunch of things. Uh, the couple who, who are... Uh, who I lived with are no longer together, so there's some sensitivities there as well, but uh, we're just trying to uh, tell some of the stories that uh, we think were funny from that time. Why do you think the 20s are some, such a unique time in someone's life, and why do you think it provides so much material for a sitcom? Well, I think in this show, uh, it's you have the characters who are at that, sort of, uh, that point in their life where they're not really kids anymore, but you don't quite feel like a grown-up. I don't know if anyone ever really feels like they're a grown-up, but you have a lot of questions, like you're in a long-term relationship, what does that mean? Or uh, you're perpetually single, what does that say about you as a person? Uh, like Those are the sort of topics that come up uh, for uh, a hotbed of comedy in the 20s. <laughs> and then also just being in a relationship, like these two, um, you know, uh, get to look at a, a single guy and go, oh, that's kind of nice, you know, the, the opportunity for something new and that sort of thing. So we're trying to play that, uh, the idea of satisfaction, which I ended up he hearing as a, is a song by a rock band called the Rolling Stones. Oh, I've heard they're good. I've heard they're good. Good band. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're, they have a website and everything. So, but uh, the uh, <laughs> www dot wow. dot, dot Rolling. It's a GeoCities. I think. Oh, it's GeoCities. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, it's just about like not being able to find satisfaction and, and the idea of like you know grass is always greener on the other side. So mm -hmm. hopefully we're showing that in the show. Yeah, and I also think it's interesting to be you know watching a show about a group of people in their in their late twenties because people uh, these days. Uh, I don't know when I started saying these days, uh, but people these days get to get to be younger a little bit longer, I think, and I think we have a little bit more time to figure things out. So we're all 28, still trying to figure out how to find our own satisfaction, and I think a lot of people can relate to that. I know I can, my friends can. I think people were married, like yeah, had, were like married. three kids by yeah, For sure, my parents so had strange. already had yeah. me and my brother by the time they were this age, so yeah. I would, I would also say that, uh, um, uh, Yes. <laughs> Hi, what was the chemistry like between the four of you? Uh, well, um, these guys, I mean, these guys are just really, it's really funny because they're uh, playing people that, you know, uh, Ryan's playing a variation of me and, uh, and then uh, they're playing people that I'm very close with and, uh, and so it was uh, really something that we wanted, we wanted to make sure that chemistry was something that worked uh, and so it, it has, I mean, these guys are, I mean, it's just, it, it's really, I mean, the show will speak for itself, but I think it's just turned out so much better than I could have imagined. Well, I can say from the day, it's always, you know, strange. You work with new people uh, in this business on a regular basis, and the three of us hit it off immediately. Yeah, we get along really well. Yeah, and there's always lots of laughter, and we have a great time when the cameras aren't rolling, too, and it's been it's Which been great. sometimes is a problem when you're trying to do your close-up, and the person across <laughs> from you is making you laugh. Yes. Ryan Belleville. Yeah, there's lots, there's lots of, we have a lot of fun on set, and we have a, a really good time, and I think that shows in the, the actual TV show, too. Yeah, it's always a weird testament to casting, you know, how do you ever know if you're going to have chemistry and you just cross your fingers and you hope that it works, but truly and like deeply, we really do get along and, and I think that we all inside our beings have something that's a lot like our characters that make us all connect. Yeah. The obviously is universal, uh, this is a Canadian comedy, uh, what are your hopes for dominating the world? <laughs> Oh, for, for like the show going out, like being seen elsewhere. It's effort to hit here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think that this is a one of the things I like about the show is it's not uh, it's not like cramming the fact like Canadian of like hey we're so Canadian down your face, but we're also not shying away from it. We're not pretending we're not. Uh, in Toronto. Yeah, we're not yeah, pretending. We're in Toronto. We're in Toronto. There's streetcar. There's things happening. There's like, a lot of Don Valley Parkway jokes. <laughs> it, it is. <laughs> it's, it's, all, it's all DVP it's jokes. All DVP jokes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but uh, one of the things I I would love to see, and having spent a lot of time in America, and, and, and uh, I would like to see like Canada is such a cool country, and it's such a funny country, and I don't. There's kind of a cliche Canadian stereotype for jokes that people make, and I think I would like to see that broaden up a little bit. I don't want people just to go, oh, Canadians. Every time they make a Canadian joke, uh, just be a guy like in a Mountie outfit, eating poutine while watching hockey. I'd like to see it broaden a little bit. In people. I think to, to you know the, the point that this gentleman was asking about, I think Canadians, uh, you know, in our television past, it's been like Canada is rural, Canada is far away, you think. 
you think Anne of Green Gables, and you think <laughs> Corner Gas, and you think like everyone in Canada lives in small places. So to actually have an urban setting, I think is pretty. It's newer, and, and, and I'm really excited to be like, yeah, this is one of the biggest cities in, you know, in the world. Toronto's bigger than Chicago, and it's a hip, it's an urban center, there's great music here, there's great arts, there's like, there's really cool people here, and uh, I would just like to see that portrayed more, because Canada is a really cool people, like, or we, we is a really cool people <laughs> with grammar man. <laughs> we are really cool people, and uh, I would just like to see that, yeah. Yeah. So basically, we want to take over the world, and we want everyone to watch our show. <laughs> yeah. Tim, this like sort of pairing of the best friend and the couple is, you know, seen in a lot of shows. Was and it, but I know from your real life as well. Was there any particular? Is there any particular TV uh, threesome that you sort of look to as a great model for that? I know, like on you worked on The Office with yeah. you know Jim and Pam and Dwight. So. Yeah. Well, Jim and Pam and Dwight are actually a really good, <laughs> like that's a real man, odd couple sort of relationship and they're forced to be together. Uh, these guys are uh, less forced to be together, they chose to be together, they're friends. Uh, and so, I, you know, I was going to say Three's Company as a joke because uh, <laughs> well, we don't have a Mr. Roper yet, so we <laughs> uh, But uh, yeah, no, I think it's, it's, it's that, uh, that uh, it's, it's, it's kind of a, an odd man out situation. And so there's a lot, you're right, there's a lot of that. There's, you know, the odd couple with two people and then, this is a. Uh, this is hopefully something where we don't uh, stereotype hit, uh, Ryan or you know uh, his character Mark is the wacky. Hey, I'm always slackery, and we're very careful about making sure that everything from wardrobe and that sort of thing, just because we don't want to pigeonhole Ryan as, uh, as this character that's like, hey, I'm a, I'm a, you know, the cliche of what that is. And then uh, same with these guys. The, the uh, I worked on a show called Up All Night as well, and. and and uh, we and they they had a loving relationship. The, the couple did, and I wanted to make sure we kept some of that too. Just the idea of there's there's reasons why everyone likes each other, and uh, and uh, and this is and, and they and at this age too, they're not having humongous fights. They're having disagreements about certain things, but they're also having a lot of fun. And, and uh, but I mean, for a TV show, there needs to be some form of conflict, so we, we do that. But uh, it happens between all three of them as opposed to just a couple of fights and then can't do it in a while. That's one of the things I like about it, like the fact that everybody, they, they like each other. There's a lot of shows where you watch, like, why are these people even together? Or why do they even hang out? Because they seem to hate each other. Yeah. So it is nice uh, how grounded uh, Tim has made the show. Yeah. Uh,